lanes are going pretty okay under the circumstances for Team Team Link. They have the Jungle Enigma, so it's four on five for the time being, yet they're still trading bottom, winning mid. Top lane is a bit of a disaster for Brax, but he's still level four, almost level five. It really only gets easier for Tidehunter. Uh, spell Amplification and Stun Duration. Lena stuns like 3.5 seconds with yep. no cast animation if Rubik has it. Uh, do you think something should be done a little bit more about Radiant trying to actually control this Enigma? Attack. Like, I know Enigma in the jungle is uh, a very old school kind of thing, and uh, oh, wow, great deny by Tim. So huge. Um, again, just denying Gunner that extra advantage in the bottle charges. But, it, like, moving Jakir up and putting a ward down, like, blocking the ability for Enigma to just do what he's freely doing. Should, should this actually have some level of effort to stop? It depends. I don't think Enigma jungle, especially with these two oh. camps, is efficient enough, but... <laughs> And it would prevent them from doing what we've seen thus far, which is... they got to be careful. Look at this game of cat and mouse. But they've done what they want to do, TNC. They've split the map now. They're in between the duo pairs of this dire side. Nusham walking straight up into what oh, would be his demise. He is, like, threading the needle right now. And he will go down. Oh. Trigger sequence and gun. you got a Nightmare over him. He's master pain trying to TP out. But while there is the Menagerie, he's going to just take that Nightmare off, get the raw, get the kill. There will be a counter up on top. Enough to stop it. Yep. And you, team team, like they're holding hands to the jungle. They're smoking. Smoke. Yeah, they recognize. Look, we can't keep playing this game because we're just gonna have our lane shoved into us until somebody makes a mistake and gets picked off. Let's find the team fight we've been waiting for. We might get over average, Toby. 29 minutes in. Oh, oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Scanned it. Yep. They see him. They're backing up. TNC. They'll hide in the trees. They'll play around their own vision. And really, such great movement from Cuckoo. Like as you were mentioning, the vision game from TNC is right on the mark. And there's just no opportunity the team team have. You see, it's both teams very aware of their strategy. Neither one willing to give an inch. This but the, but it's, so, it's so hilarious because you know both sides are sitting there going, you know, I actually feel pretty good about this. Like we're going late game. Team teams like our Deuce is getting unbelievably powerful and we have amazing team fight. And TNC is just like, well, our glass cannon is getting stronger and stronger. He's on his way to a silver edge. Our Juggernaut is a legitimate hero as well. And they've got great jump and great steal for the counter team fight. Everyone's got everything they kind of want. They're just willing to almost have this peace, peace treaty for the moment. Agadim Scepter up for the Rubik. Welcome to a two-second cooldown on Steel. He can use both Ravage and Black Hole in a fight if he can also get the Steel time right. Not to mention Fiend's Grip, not to mention every other bloody ability the team team want to give to him. This is, as you said, you don't need to run him as a core. With a Blink, Ether Lens, and Agadim Scepter, Tim's is now the real two. Yeah. You've got to be very cautious now with TNC. This is like, the power spike this, for Team Team. This wraparound taking so long from Team Team. They're not going to get here in time. Juggernaut's trying. Actually, maybe they do. The damage amp was not enough. And with the illusion of Envy being sent in, they know that Roshan had begun. And Gunner just wants them in. Raw comes in from Cuckoo. Blink forward. If the only such Envy blinks forward to help share the load. And maybe they have enough as he comes back out of the spin with the Fiend's Grip. This works for Team Team. They get the control. They get the kill. Buyback is available with the Sentinel. He got a fall and done. Cuckoo's got nothing left in the table. He'll go down as well in the mid lane. Kill. A double kill for Gunner. And finally, the heat gets turned on. The TNC finally, they get punished. You can't make that sort of maneuver. Team Team were all there. You can see the Crimson Guard, the Greaves. That Omni Slash did next to no damage. And they were both kill streaks too. A four times and a five times. Gunner took both of it. Got almost a thousand gold for that. But it's Enigma who has a Blink Dagger coming over on the Courier. Roshan's already taken. Who's going to get the Aegis he wants to go to Envy? A Blink and he was looking for the cheese pick up. And Jakira will end up going down. But like this game still goes on and Sniper will still be that cannon in the yep. back lines. They're not too far. Far ahead, like it's still five, six thousand in the gold, and about like ten yep. to eight thousand in the experience. But this will now be the test. Yep, it's all on envy. Keep in mind, he's got the ages for one more minute, and it's go time. You've got all your abilities. Shiva's BKB active on the Lena. All alts prepared. It could be time. Oh, they're not gonna jump in. Envy just wants to start this one up. Pick him down. Mystic Snake will be stolen. Now steal a little bit of mana out. There's Dusa. The tier three tower is still being chipped away with the macro pyre. Envy's copying a lot of damage. Remember, we still got the agency mortal. So they can assassinate. They can hold him in position. If they can burn the Agency Mortal. All this aggression from Envy will not be as strong, and they're stealing so much mana. Even the Stone Lena is having a real issue getting back off the ramp. Still caught inside the Ice Path. The Tier 3 tower has fallen down, but Gunner's copying way too much damage. Oh, That's no. why consume up some extra regen. Dude, and they smoke. They still want to fight. We still haven't seen these two big abilities. That's Ag Snake, Toby. It's turning everybody to stone. You don't need a oh. stone case. That's insane. I cannot believe Tim's once again picked that up from Envy. That is huge for this defense. 
So now you really ask, like, how great is it? So Gunner, yep, turns the stone, cleans up the wave. And now, well, Lena picked up, throw back into the ice path. Here's your Ravage, number one on the board. The Fiend Mimic's great too, he's taking all his control. And it looks like Team Team Arena breaks the pace. The Abilities have gone out, and maybe they can catch out the Tidehunter. Double buyback from the cause of TNC. They need to get some of these exit kills. They're looking at the Tidehunter. He's the primary target with the spin. There's nothing Ice Mike can do apart from TP out, but that won't happen. The Glass Cannon's in the back line, just basically shattering him out. A perfect Ice Path catching out the Lena. The TP out from Deuce will be successful, but Gunner is left behind for his fourth death of the game. Team Team, they took a tier three tower. The buyback cost was expensive, but TNC hold their racks. Just witnessed there, if he has no BKB, the moment he catches that Ravage, Envy just clicks him down to death. Doing a great job. It looked a bit weird. He blinked straight into base. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, you could say he wasted the ages, but it was taking out in 20 seconds anyway. Gunner takes the tier three thanks to that space. Envy has to play this way so that his teammates with their huge ults can counter initiate. However, look how those fast are all they, down now. Look how fast TNC push back. It's like, okay, well, there's no Ravage. There is the black hole available, but no Lena for 45 seconds. And Tidehunter will have to buy back if he wants to be involved as well. And here we go. The Mystic Snake's just stealing it out. Everyone gets stoned behind the Tier 3 tower. So it'll be a straight Tier 3 for Tier 3 tower. Trade pick up Envy. He does not want to get caught in this. Back into the Ice Path. Once again, they're burning him off. This Diffuser Curry with a Raw and the Macro Pyre. They're burning through the shields. Envy can't die here. If he goes down, he has to buy back. 100 second death timer. That was a long thing to buy back on. He cannot die again. And Enigma's still waiting for the light opportunity. But this Observer one, it sees too much. It sees Ice Mike 88. Envy doing the best he can with that modifier. He's slowing up Cuckoo. He has lost his support in Mike and Beastmaster looks like he'll finally go down as almost two minutes on the sideline. Armel, he didn't finish the melee racks. He was so close, but with the death of the Beastmaster, knew he could not stay. Envy just... <laughs> This is the danger of giving away Mystic Snake to Ags Rubik, Toby. You can fly. Roshan's up. I don't think Team Team oh, saw it though. The Wild Wing died too early. And okay, that's a great rune to have. Hey, Envy. Envy, uh, present. And they give him the ball too. He puts the Daedalus into his backpack so he can get the perfect timing on this. They need it for when the fight begins. And look at that, BKB on Nushim as well. You've got to take out the Rubik. Tim's, there is so much pressure on him to perform He's, now. He still hasn't cast a black hole, right? Like, no, he like, hasn't. No, he hasn't. So, we'll so, get there eventually. Okay, great. Fine. Cool. Okay. <laughs> But that's the thing, though. Neither has Rubik. <laughs> True. <laughs> that's, that's a you can, uh, I thought I was the one looking on the bright side of live. Oh, Smoke but, gang oh. from TNC. This is the Same thing from Team Team. Here we go. This is going to be the moment. If they can find an opportunity, Rubik oh is waiting on the cliff. They see all oh, they pick him up. Oh my god, Toby, of all the places in the entire map to try and fight, they <laughs> choose the only location that Radiant have wards, and they have two of them. They see the smoke, no one's on the high ground, and they get obliterated. Absolutely obliterated. Brax's blink got cancelled by a Maelstrom proc. He ravages no one, and all... Oh my god! 43 minutes of preparation, 
It was worth it. It was, it was worth it from TNC's side. They will have the push to come still after taking that fight, walking all the way up from bottom lane into the Roche Pit. They still have another 80 seconds, 70 seconds before Dusa is alive again. They're going to come through. They don't even have to take the rack. They can go for Throne. Th there's no ultimates up on the side of Team Team. I don't, I don't think, yeah, they're paying it. It's goal yeah. time, boys. Don't delay, boys. Don't delay. Move through. There goes your melee no, rack. Cougars like, hey, boys, I think I know how we can win this game of Dota 2. I think I know how we can knock Team Team out of ESL 1 Mumbai. You hit the tier 4 towers. You play the objective-based gaming. You take the Dire Ranger. Where 